हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन ट्रिक नंबर 188 आई टोल्ड यू ए ट्रिक थ्रू विच यू कैन डिवाइड एनी नंबर बाय सेवन मेंटली एंड ऑल ऑफ यू लाइक दैट ट्रिक सो मच एंड दैट प्रॉम्प्टेड मी टू कम अप विथ सम और डिविजन ट्रिक्स दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ वी कैन डिवाइड एनी नंबर बाय इलेवन ओर नाउ एनदर एग्जाइटिंग मेथड एंड through this method you will be able to solve all these questions within a time frame of just 3 seconds that too without carrying out the traditional division the first thing which we need to understand here is when you divide any number by 11 we have a non terminating decimal and that too the decimal will repeat after every two digits so we have a pair of digits after decimal and those two digits will keep on repeating infinitely for example suppose we have 3 divided by 11 now when you divide 3 by 11 you observe that you get the answer starting with 0 point so you have a 0 11 to the 22 we have 8 remaining what is 0 11 7 the 77 3 remaining what is 0 now see again we have a 30 here so we started with 30 and we have again got 30 as the remainder now so we will have the same digit repeated now 272727 this will go on so all these divisions will have a non terminating repeating decimal in which two digits are going to repeat infinitely after the decimal place so for a shortcut we just need to remember that the numerator of the fraction is to be multiplied by 9 so what is 3 into 9 it is 27 and just observe here that we have this 27 being repeated infinitely after the decimal place so the numerator here is smaller than 11 so our answer will start with 0 likewise here we have 6 smaller than 11 so answer will start with 0.8 is smaller than 11 so answer will start with 0. Point. and after this we have examples in which the numerator is greater than 11 so for the first three examples our trick will work like this 3 multiplied by 9 is 27 so just put a 27 and put a bar over it representing that this 27 will repeat itself infinitely so the decimal representation of 3 upon 11 is 0.272727 likewise you have the decimal representation of 6 upon 11 now you can tell that orally very easily we have 0 point and when you multiply the numerator 6 by 9 you get 54 so 54 will keep on repeating infinitely and thereby you have to put a bar over 54 showing that it repeats itself infinitely likewise 8 upon 11 so very easy 0 point and 8 9 the 72 so 72 will repeat itself after the decimal place so the decimal representation of 8 upon 11 is 0.72 bar now when you have a number in the numerator which is greater than 11 then one step is extra in this so what you need to do is just divide 12 by 11 so you get 1 so 11 ones are 11 so one times put a decimal now what are you left with you are left with 1 so 11 ones are 11 so you are left with 1 so actually this 12 upon 11 is 1 1 by 11 in mixed fraction so you have the quotient here as 1 and since 1 by 11 has numerator smaller than 
so we will go by this rule now just remember two digits are repeated after the decimal place so this one we have put already before the decimal place and for 1 by 11 you just need to apply this method multiply the numerator 1 by 9 we get 9 but two digits are repeated so we need to write it as 09 and this 09 will repeat itself infinitely so the quotient when you divide 12 by 11 is 1.090909 and so on likewise 17 upon 11 so if you convert this 17 upon 11 in which fraction you have 11 1 by 11 so what are you left with 17 minus 11 that is 6 upon 11 so mixed fraction of 17 upon 11 is 1 6 by 11 so 1 point and now 6 by 11 the 6 by 11 decimal representation was this or you can multiply the numerator 6 by 9 so you get 54 so 5 4 5 4 so on so we can represent it as 1.54 bar Likewise, you can have some more examples with greater denominator, uh, numerator. Now, see 46 upon 11. Just carry out the traditional division. 11 fours are 44. So, you are left with 2. So, 2 upon 11. This is the mixed fraction. So, 4 point. Because we have 4 here. So, decimal place. Before the decimal place, we will have 4. Now, 2 upon 11. We can simplify like this. 2 into 9 is 18. So, 18 bar. 4.181818 is the required decimal representation. Here, 11 ones are 11, we are left with 2, so it becomes 26. 11 twos are 22, we are left with 4, so 4 upon 11, so 12 will be there, and 4 minus 36, so 36 will keep on repeating. 11 fives are 55, we have 18, 11 ones are 11, so we have 7. So 51 will be there and 7, 9 the 63, so you have 63 repeating itself. 11 ones are 11, so we have 1, 16, 11 ones are 11, we have 5, 4, so 11, 4 the 44 and we have left with 10, so 10 upon 11, so 114 will be there. And 10 into 9 is 90, so 90 will keep on repeating. So we have decimal representation as 114.9090090 and so on. Likewise, the final example, say we have 11, 5 is 55. So we have 7 remaining, 71. 11, 6 is 66. We have 5 remaining, 53. 11, 4 is 44. We have 9 remaining, 94. 11, 8 is 88, we have 6 remaining, so 6 upon 11. Now 5, 6, 4, 8 will be there before the decimal place. And 9, 6 is 54, so 54 will keep on repeating. So the 10 problems which we have listed down here, all have been done without carrying out the traditional division. And a small trick has enabled us to save a lot of time during competitions. So keep learning, keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it.